Good morning. Hello. What time is it? Oh, it's 9.25. Pretty early. Well, I slept in today. Hello. Hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldie. Oh, goody. I am ready. Skin care is done. Skin is looking really, really good. I dermaplane last week and I'm kind of like feeling the skin. We are going to prime half of the skin. These skin tints out here, they're coming in like hotcakes because I have back to back to back to back to back skin tint reviews. I have another one coming soon. I hope if I could get it done. I'm getting my face lasered again next week. So, you know, I'm going to have to pause on the filming for a week. I'm trying to really pre film. We're going to let this dry down. I'm using the blur screen from NYX because we are using the Live Tinted Hue Guard Tint SPF 50 Skin Tint. I've never tried Live Tinted before. I've seen it all over Ulta and that's where I purchased mine. So I'm excited to use this. Okay, let's let this dry down. Are we dry down? Yes. I like this because it has such a tacky feel to it. Ooh. Okay, Live Tinted is a brand owned brand by a woman. Her name is Deepika. She, I believe, was a YouTuber. I believe she was in the beauty space and she has her own brand now. It's sold at Ulta, which is where I purchased this. And she released this Hugar Tint SPF 50. I've always wanted to try her makeup and I've never gotten a chance. I even have a color corrector in my stuff in the to do to try. This one kind of got here first. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm in the shade seven the shades are back here and then this is how it looks comes in a 1.35 ounce container bottle oh hold on i think i need to shake this because look see it looks a little chunky i bought this like three weeks ago okay there we go yeah it just need a little shaking it has pigment oh and it's watery i like this shade this is a neutral undertone you guys know i am a neutral gal yeah, this is a good shade. It's very neutral. I like that. So I'm going to start off with the prime side. I've used this primer, so I know it works well. Ooh, first of all, this shade, though. This is nice. It's very lightweight, but very pigmented. Damn, this is nice. I have realized with skin tints, they're very particular because most of the time these formulas are very lightweight because they're a skin tint. They're like your skin but better. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm placing it here and let's let it sit and dry down a little bit. This oxidizes a little bit. No, a lot of bit. Maybe like... I would say like a shade and a half. Now that we've had this dry down, let me add on the brush and let's just blend it. It doesn't need a lot of blending because my finger basically did it. I just want to see. Very hydrated. Like, girl, my skin looks wet. I think letting it dry down, you know, for that minute, it gives this type of formula a dry down texture in order for you to blend it and it doesn't move too much. And it's not the skin tint. Most skin tints are just like this. In order for you to get a good blend out of it, I would say let it dry down a little bit. I mean, I do that with foundations all the time, but skin tints, I really find that this is how they're going to work the best. Okay, it's lightweight. It's cute. It's hydrating. It has great protection. Look at the before and after. What you think? What you think? So what I'm going to do is apply this side and then give you all the info about this. The new Lift Tinted Hue Guard Skin Tint SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen retails for $42. It comes in 10 shades. I have the shade number seven. This is a weightless, light, medium, buildable coverage skin tint with no white cast with SPF 50 that, that protects skin with all day hydration and a radiant finish. This has skincare actives to hydrate, protect, and smooth skin one step at a time. Highlighted ingredients, zinc oxide, butterfly bush flower extract, Indian goose berry that helps diminish pigmentation, hyaluronic acid, and C buckthorn oil. Oh, skin looks nice and wet. This is the wettest my skin has looked with the skin tint. Dang, this looks good. This looks good. And of course, yeah, it feels wet. Anytime you're dealing with something wet, very hydrating, I always recommend, I mean, I recommend this all the time, but especially if something's like this, let it dry down, let it adhere to the skin, kind of hugs your skin and it allows it to kind of do its thing and provide coverage. If you're just like blending away while things are still wet, things are just going to move around. They could peel. A lot of 
things can happen. This is why I always let my foundations, concealers dry down. I typically wait about 10 minutes. If you don't have that time, do a minute, do two minutes, because I promise you it will help the look of your base, the longevity of it, and overall everything else will apply better. So it's currently 9.44. We're gonna do an all day wear test, but let's let this dry down maybe 10 minutes. Look how good this skin looks. You can see a little bit of my pores. You can see texture. I have texture on my skin. Anything hydrating will also accentuate that. For me, it's not a big deal. That's why we're gonna set and then do the whole thing. But BRB, I'm excited. I'm back. It is 10. It's been like 15 minutes. Ooh, she wet. She wet. But is it moving? A little bit, a little bit. Okay. You guys, this skin, I feel like the radiance intensified with us waiting. What do you think? Not this hair though. Huh, okay. It's giving us just a very fresh look. It's pigmented enough to provide coverage, but not too pigmented where my manchas are not showing through, you know? Although my manchas are kind of lightening up. Let me add concealer. I just added my concealer and I'm gonna use powder. When it comes to lightweight products, you wanna not go in with something that is gonna be too heavy. This Powder puff, well this one's really good, but powder puffs will deposit a good amount of powder. I would start off with a brush, something loose like this. This is the Makeup Forever 160. So you just wanna saturate. Oh my God, my, my jazz music's on, hold on. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, okay? So I'm going to get my brush here. Something loose will work because that won't deposit a lot of powder. I do have oily skin, so I need to set my skin. I'm just trying to see how well I could set it with this. So I'm just going to lightly press. I added concealer, it didn't disrupt any of this skin tint. So let's see. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, I didn't realize I'm using Makeup Forever and Makeup Forever brush. So you see it's set, but it still feels wet. I could use a little bit more powder. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna be super careful. I'm gonna, what am I trying to say? Even it out, yeah. And then lightly, really just get the T-zone here. You guys, it is extremely windy. If you could hear the wind. Apologies, because I was not expecting all this noise. And my nose is running, ugh. Yeah, it looks good. I'm worried about the peeling because the super goop one, this one peeled a little bit, but that was more my fault because I went in with a powder puff that was just a little too abrasive. What I'm gonna do is just get rid of this bake here. Okay, I kind of like how this is set. You see now the skin is not as glowy. With skin tint, you can set as much or as little as possible. I would recommend start with a little bit and then work your way up. That's what I'm gonna start doing with skin tint reviews. It looks good. It looks like skin. We have a little bit of coverage. Everything's evened out, mattified because we powder. Looks good. I'm like, okay, live tinted. Let's see how everything else applies because that's also telling how bronzer and blush applies. Liv, cue some music. No lie, look at this skin. Skin is skinny, not girl, this hair. There's a nice glow going on, which is good. We'll see how it works because, you know, I got all this skin. I feel like the primer side looks a smidge smoother. Just a little bit, no primer side. Could you tell the difference? No peeling, nothing weird happened. Everything applied well, nothing's patchy. What could happen with skin tints because they're usually very hydrating, it could be wet. Still, even after you set, when you put your blush or bronzer, it could just patch up onto those wet spots. So that's always something just to look out for. Yeah, like the skin looks like skin, but very comfortable, very lightweight. Literally doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. Yeah, I think the key to this is to let it dry down, you know? So of course we're gonna do an all day wear test. We started at nine, right? My lip combo is this, Smashbox Dark Brown and then Warm Teddy Mac. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
see in front of the window. This is how the skin looks. You see how nice and hydrated? It's like we drank water, legit. It looks really good. This is the primer side. I do feel like the primer looks a smidge smoother. Even from here, something about this side looks smooth. Here you can see a little bit of texture. Let's get close. You see how bronzer and blush look? It looks really good. Okay, I'm feeling this. I bet how it wears. Hey, familia, I'm back. So <laughs> you won't believe it. This is the most random thing, but I was just invited to the Bad Bunny concert. I'm going to have to touch up my makeup i'm gonna try to do it not as much as possible but i need to just control these oils really quick but i want to show you how the skin looks at this point what time is it seven it's been about 10 hours Ooh, it looks really really good i'm really loving this skin tint so i'm gonna touch up and then i'm gonna come back when i get home so oh my god okay <laughs> i'm back it is almost midnight this skin tent has been through it i did get some footage for you at around i think 4 30 or 5 the skin was looking really good primer side the left side the side with no piercing looks good i really felt like it looked very well put together smooth the other side i saw a little more texture but nonetheless still smooth so this is how the skin looks i did refresh the makeup up a little bit i just tapped at a little bit of powder but nonetheless this skin looks really good this is the primer side you see how well put together it is here I feel like there's a lot more oils and like there's a little bit of separation in the nose side the primer side looks good no primer side it doesn't look bad but definitely I can tell a difference with the primer side you guys know I love primer I think primer does work this is a heck yes I absolutely love it not only is it lightweight it's really hydrating it's very pigmented it adheres to the skin good enough for it to last it works well with powders I just love it so much but if you want to know which one's better because you know these are brand spanking new I don't think they are similar this one's texture is thicker and it does have clay in it so it does control oils a little bit better this one's lightweight kind of like water on your face it's very very hydrating very different in that sense I like them both this one didn't peel this one did peel but again I didn't use it correctly like I used this one so I really like both of them I think this one would be better if you have oily skin this one if you have very very dry skin I think they both work for both skin types but to be very specific I want to let you know I like this one though. I think I like this one more. This one was really put to the test today. And girl, it's been more than, has it been 13, 14 hours? Oh, gastada where? Okay, legit, this is not a gastada look. I can really keep going, keep going, but I'm not. I'm going to bed, girl. It's done. Day is done. The Bad Bunny concert is in vlog 19. It's all up in there. So you guys, please go watch it because it's such a good vlog. I already posted it. And fam, I will link and tag the stuff I use. I'll link this one too in case you want to check it out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit every day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. She went through it. She went through it.